cranberries. Now, if you don't have cranberries, don't worry about it. I mean, say if you're based in the Caribbean, you can't get fresh cranberries like this. Um, it does look like coffee beans, doesn't it? Don't don't sweat too much about the um, the cranberries at this point, because the other thing we're going to be adding in here, and it's totally optional. So, if you're based in North America, you have cranberries, use cranberries. If you don't have cranberries, what we will use is dried sorrel or it's, it's a variety of hibiscus leaves and that dried sorrel there I'm telling you Caribbean people will love with sorrel at Christmas time so if you're based in North America you can get fresh or in, in Europe wherever you can get fresh cranberries rock the fresh cranberries if you cannot get it and you're based in the Caribbean we've got dried sorrel fresh sorrel will work incredible as well too but it's all about the flavors of Christmas that you like and the scent, the appeal. Your entire house is just going to be your welcoming and smelling good and thing. I've got orange slices. And if you have mandarin or clementine and you want to use that, by all means, do that. The other sort of flavors of Christmas, of you know, growing up in the Caribbean that I like. We've got allspice, star anise. And it's very warm and welcoming. Cardamom and cloves that was the cardamom it's a tiny bit of that clove some of that allspice we've got that star anise to go in there as well too I like adding a bit of bay leaves in there and of course you need a stick of cinnamon to bring it all together we need water in total, I'll probably use about 10 cups of water in there. As it starts coming up to a boil, I'm going to toss in an apple in there. And that's going to give it a more fruity sort of aroma. It's now come up to a boil and it's very vigorous. So I'm going to turn my heat all the way down to low. And it's just going to let that sim, 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 simmer on that very, the very... You know, I'm going to move it to a smaller burner actually. Because you really want this on a very gentle... <laughs> Sup, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I mean, I'm trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene Simmer. Give that a quick little stir and it is important that you don't leave this on the stove going and leave the house. What I would recommend doing is moving it, I don't know if I said it already, move it to the smallest burner in your stove, turn the heat all the way down and then just let that sort of do, do its thing. The other thing you can do if you have a, a small slow cooker, which will be more safe, you would put it in the small um, slow cooker and you would let that do its thing. The more these things cook down, like the uh, the cardamom and all of that, there, it's just gonna perfume your house. I'm telling you, boy, add some water to it ever so often, and you're good to go. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. You just learn how to give your house that holiday sort of Christmas sort of scent, and you can do it throughout the year. I mean, they say you're cooking your curry and your house smelling kind of yo off key. We ain't trying to have that curry smell all over the place. Organize, Irene, Irene.